Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies, this is Srinivas. In this session, as we are going to discuss, so one C technical interview question, the concept is a command line arguments concept. So, command line arguments. So, first of all, what is a command line argument means? So, generally we need to compile and run C application, so from the command prompt only. So, command prompt is an operating system. So, we need to take permissions from the operating system either to compile or to run the application every program in a computer. But while executing application at the command line, we can pass arguments also, arguments. See generally from the command prompt, from the command prompt, if you want to compile this program, what is the program name? Suppose program.c only consider. With the help of compiler, I am taking one compiler, suppose turbo c compiler is a program name I am giving program dot c. Whenever we give the return key enter, enter then program will be compiled. If there is no error, if there is any syntactical error, it will give error message. And after that how to execute from the command line, from the command prompt directly the program you have to run, it will give the output. But sir how to pass command line arguments? how to pass command line arguments means followed by this program you can pass here by leaving the space argument 1 argument 2 argument 3 and so on how many number of arguments you are passing here how many number of arguments it will maintain that count arg c means what how many arguments you are passing at the command line sir why sir main method is taking this because execution starts from main method only so, main method only is responsible for collecting the command line arguments, collecting. Suppose here you are not passing any arguments, any arguments, but still argument count is a 1, this is very very important. Sir, where is that argument 1? We are not passing, na? see the program name is considered as one argument in C language. This is the first argument. So, though we are not passing arguments, the first argument is the program and then remaining arguments are there. So, argument 1, argument 2, argument 3. So, like that remaining arguments are there. So, here initially argument count is a 1. So, execution starts from the main function. Main function initially argument count is a 1 argument count is a 1. So, execution starts from main function only the control move inside. It will print the value of arg c. So, in the output, in the output it will print the value 1. And next here we are calling fun method. So, from what we are passing arg c, what is arg c value is a 1. So, control come to fun and that 1 value will be stored here into i the value 1 will be stored and the control move inside 1 is less than 4 condition true come inside it will call the main function by passing plus plus i plus plus i value is what is a 2 so main function will be called with the value of a 2 then again the 2 value will go and store into arg c so arg c value become 2 the control move inside again arg c value it will print what is that arg c value 2 it is printing and next again fun method will call by passing the value is a 2 already is containing 2 again it will contain 2 arg c value is a 2 2 is less than 4 condition 2 is less than 4 condition is a true so plus plus i the value 2 value become 3 value become 3 again here it is a main method will call with the value is a 3 now here arg c value is 3 Again the control move inside and it will print that arg c value is 3, 3 again fun 3 we are calling fun method with a 3 is already 3 and of course the same value I am not replacing once again. So, i value contains 3, 3 is less than 4 condition true. So, first it will become 4 and main method will call with the value is a 4 here it is a arg c value is a 4. The control move inside and it will print this arg c value, arg c value 4 it will print. Again fun method will call, so whenever it will call the fun method as i value is a 4, now observe 4 is less than 4 the condition has failed then it will terminate, 
then the control back and it will terminate. So, output of this program is a 1, 2, 3, 4 and one more thing this is responsible for counting how many number of arguments you are passing at the command line. If you are not passing any command line argument at least it contains one argument what is that is a program name program name is considered as a first argument. So, it will start working with a 1. So, that uh, same function calling how it will execute we know that ok. So, output of this program is 1, 2, 3, 4 hope you understood. For more videos please subscribe to Narayshati channel. Thank you. Thank you all.